Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Korean walkthrough episode. In this part, today we'll be fighting our rival in the boss Giovanni. Now, I am on the third floor, if you guys were wondering, in Silfsko, so I showed this last episode how to make it to the boss fight super quickly, but just go through this war panel right here on the third floor. You do need the card key again, so if you guys don't know where to find that, go ahead and check out my last episode. I showed you guys where to get it there, and our, our rival right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with SSJ Coco, just because he's going to lead off with the Spidgeot every time, no matter which, or which starter you chose. So, Magic, my mod. I Actually, I forgot about that. I named my rival after my mod in my Twitch channel, so that's, that's pretty cool. Anyways, Magic's gonna send out Pidgeot right here. Now, if you chose Charizard, he'll have Gyarados, ex Execute, um, Alakazam, and Pidgeot. If you chose Blastoise, he'll have an Execute, Growlithe, Alakazam, and Pidgeot. And then if you chose Venusaur, he'll have Growlithe, um, Gyarados, Alakazam, and Pidgeot. Uh, some Pokemon are the same there, but also some are different, so if you guys want to know that, there you go. We're gonna go ahead and take out this Pidgeot there with a Shockwave. I'm pretty sure this will take him out pretty easily. I don't know for sure, though. Um, no, it's gonna two-shot him. Of course, he is uh, a few levels higher than us. This is where the rival battles actually get a little more challenging. It's uh, once you make it into this part of the game. The rival battles before were pretty easy, but we can't one-shot my rival anymore, or I can't. Um, I don't know if you guys can. You guys might have some OP Pokemon like Mewtwo or something. You might be hacking your game. But he's gonna send out his Gyarados next on my Jolteon. Now, I'm gonna keep in Jolteon here. Hopefully, he doesn't have Dragon Rage, because I will die. But if he doesn't... We're going to take him out with this times 4 super effective shockwave. Um, one thing I recommend when fighting your rival is you should have a Pokemon for every single one of his Pokemon. Just because one Pokemon on his team, if you don't have a counter for that thing, oh, he has Dragon Rage. Of course he had Dragon Rage. Why wouldn't he? But if you don't have a specific counter for each one of his Pokemon, well, he's going to sweep you with that one Pokemon. Mostly his Alakazam. Like, if you don't have anything for his Alakazam, you were kind of screwed. But he's going to use Dragon Rage here again. I don't know why he didn't use a Water Move. He would have done more damage to me. But, hey, we're going to take him out Chaotic right here. going to get this EXP up. Um, I think one of my Pokemon... I mentioned this in the last episode. One of my Pokemon's almost at level 40, which is my... Uh, Fero, which is pretty cool. I don't think any, yeah, none of my other Pokemon are really that high of level yet. But we're gonna send out my Gyarados next. Uh, I think I saw Alakazam. No, it, it was definitely, okay, it was Execute. So this was a bad choice. I thought I saw Alakazam there. Should have been paying attention to the text, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take him out. Nevertheless, with Dragon Rage right here. Dragon Rage, super OP move. But I don't think it, yeah, it's three shotting now. Um, again, once you make it into this point in the game, you're not going to be one-shotting things as much as you were back when we were fighting Erica, the gym leader, I think. I think that was only three episodes ago, though. Uh, he's going to use Sun Spore, though. Going to paralyze Roshi. And I think... I don't remember what Execute has. He has Confusion. Okay, I was worried about, like, Seed Bomb or something, because it is neutral damage, but it would have done a little more damage, because I'm pretty sure Execute... No, I don't really know Execute stats, honestly. Just because I don't really use this thing too often. I use Executor, of course, because it's his final evolution, but I personally don't play Little Cup, so... Uh, if you guys don't know what Little Cup is, it's a tier in competitive battling for Smogon. It's pretty fun tier. You use uh, the first evolution Pokemon. But, okay, he's gonna bring out Alakazam. Roshi is paralyzed, so I am kind of worried about Alakazam now. I was just gonna come in here with bites and take out this thing, but... Okay, he's gonna Calm Mind up. That is one of the scariest things you can see from his Alakazam, is if he Calm Minds. Because if he Calm Minds, I'm pretty sure this thing either has... Oh, wow. Oh, wait, is... Oh, I swear to God. If Bite is a special move in this game, I am gonna be so mad. I think it is. I am mad right now that they only did that much damage, and it's super effective, and it's supposed to be a physical move, but I think it's going to be special. But we could use Dragon Rage right here, uh, take him out in three shots, and Roshi's going to get paralyzed. Not good. Future Sight. Future Sight's really not the greatest move in the world. I think I used to, back when I didn't play competitive, I had it on my uh, Celebi, and this might actually kill us. No, it's not going to kill us. Uh, he's going to use Future Sight again. But yeah, Future Sight, one of those moves that uh, takes two turns pretty much to use. Um, if your Pokemon's still alive or not, I think it still will attack. I have no idea, but I used to have it on my Celebi back in my Heart Gold walkthrough back when I didn't play competitive. And I think that was my, yeah, Heart Gold was my first game too, so it was a long time ago. But he's gonna have his, mm, Charizard. 
What do we want to do here? I think I'm going to bring out Chaotic, but... You know what? Let's bring out Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan has seen no spotlights in my videos so far, so... Oh, that's a pretty cool back spray. I honestly never use Hitmonchan, so it's one of those first things for me. Uh, he's going to have Flamethrower. This isn't going to KO us, hopefully. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> Rip Jackie Chan's first battle and he just gets completely bodied. That's fine. We're gonna bring out Robin right here. The reason I'm bringing out Robin is because I want him to make it up to level 40, and then I'm not really gonna use him as much as uh, I normally do because I need to try out my other Pokemon, of course. I think after this episode is recorded, I'm definitely going on a grinding trip, and exactly what I said before, Future Sight will hit after. It's not the greatest move in the world, but if you have this kind of situation, it could be pretty useful. But that's a pretty low chance. Um, we're going to have to bring out Chaotic. We're getting O-Code everywhere from our rival. I think this is the hardest rival battle we've had. Um, I don't think I've had a harder one before, but he's going to go for a Flamethrower. This isn't going to take us out, hopefully, and oh my god. Are we going to get swept by his Charizard? Okay, Light Bulb. Um, I have a max, re max revive in the back, so I'm not too worried about anything right now. I thought maybe we'd be able to live that. I'm going to have to sleep out of this thing. I don't think, since we don't have thick fat on this Venusaur, I think he only gets it when he mega evolves, so that's not even a thing in this game. He got a critical hit! Holy crap, we're getting body by our <laughs> rival's Charizard. This is crazy. This is getting a little more intense now. Uh, this is kind of what the what the Elite Four battles will be like. Hopefully, I like intense battles. Mostly in the in-game story. You don't see much of these. Um, so right now, this is pretty fun for me uh, recording this, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Do I have any more revives? I don't think I do. So that's going to be a problem. Got to think about what we want to do here and what's going to be our best choice. Probably should have sacked my... Gyarados and then Max revived him, but since we're in this kind of predicament right now. Okay, so I'm kind of debating if I want to do either SSJ Coco, which can outspeed him and get a Shockwave off, but I think we'll oak home with a Rock Slide. I think he okoed us with a Flamethrower, so. Hmm. Go ahead and I'm gonna heal up Roth. Chaotic. I'm gonna take the risk here. Hopefully I don't die from my rival. That would be so embarrassing. I never die from my rival. I well, that's a lie. I die in the first, very first battle when you first get your starter. Because only in red and blue though, because you can get some pretty bad RNG in that. Like if you don't lower their stats with tail whip or something, you're screwed. Okay. Comes down to this. Flamethrower isn't gonna kill! Let's see, we are five levels lower and it is neutral. Oh my god, let's go! Let's go, Chaotic! Let's go! Clutch win! Clutch win! Clutch win! Let's go! Let's go, Chaotic. <laughs> I'm saying let's go way too much, but I'm kind of hyped that we did that. That was some strategic battling right there. That was definitely a fun time. Okay, but, well, Goku, I'm moving up and ahead. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? You're moving up and ahead? <laughs> I'm kind of confused as to what he said there, but <laughs> I don't ever think I've heard that before. But if you go ahead and talk to this trainer after you fight your rival, um, I think you can do it before your rival. No, you can't. But you could receive a Lapras and Lapras. What, what do we want to name this thing? I think I'm going to name it after a viewer because I'm not going to use it. But one of my viewers have been nagging me. One of my, he's so my friend, has been nagging me to name something after him, so... Yeah, I won't use it, but that one, uh, let's do that one, that one lap. <laughs> that one lap. <laughs> He's gonna find that name funny, but I'm gonna name after that one trainer. If you guys have seen it in the comment section down below before, uh, then go ahead and hit him up with a you're lucky or something, because I usually never do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and heal on my Pokemon, and then we'll fight the boss Giovanni. Okay, I've healed up my Pokemon. I forgot to mention this before. I'm pretty sure this is the only place you can get Lapras in the game. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention that before. If I did, well, I guess uh, I made a mistake. But let's go ahead and fight this trainer. You kind of have no choice but to fight this trainer before you fight Giovanni. So that is a struggle. But it doesn't really matter. I don't think he'll be that much trouble. He is going to have a Cubone on him. Uh, so definitely, uh, I don't think Jolteon. Actually, let's, let's try it. We're gonna take a risk right here. I don't think Jolteon could take out this Cubone, but you never know. 
yeah, he did no damage. That That's kind of sad. And, oh god, I sped up my game there. I had my remote on my lap, and I clicked the speed up button. Um, what are we going to switch into here? I think... Let's switch into Roshi. Just get that quick KO. I was going to switch into Jackie Chan, but seeing what he did before and seeing how good he did before in his first battle, uh, I don't really have that much faith in that Pokemon right now. Not until he gets up to higher levels, though, of course. So let's go ahead and use a Water Pulse to take out this Cubone. Um, I don't really know what this trainer has on him. I think he has a Drowsy and a Marowak as well. Uh, not too hard of Pokemon. Roshi should be able to take out all of these mods because one's a Psychic type, so we have Bite. No, I don't even like Bite anymore. Never mind, I don't think he'll have that. I think he'll have trouble on Drowsy, but Marowak, uh, Water Pulse will definitely take it out. I'm still surprised though. I think it was last episode when I used Bite on. No, 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 I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that was this episode. I'm getting mixed up because I'm recording both episodes in the same day. So I fought a Kadabra last, ep last episode and then uh, I fought an Alakazam this episode. So I was getting confused as to which one's which. But I'm just going to go ahead and use a Water Pulse right here. Nice! That's what I wanted, actually. I wanted the confusion, just so we could uh, get my car way through this. I could use Dragon Rage, but I use it too much. And I don't want to use it that much right now, because I could definitely use it in the Giovanni boss fight. And I don't want to waste PP if I don't have to. I don't want to re-heal up my Pokemon. And nice, we got a flinch. Uh, I definitely kind of wanted him to f attack, so he got hit by confusion, but whatever. Anyways, we're going to take down that Drowsy, and he has a Marowak for his last Pokemon. Uh, Marowak, I don't think, yeah, there's no place to catch it right now. You can catch Cubone, I'm pretty sure, in the Pokemon Tower, so if you want to get a Marowak, it's a pretty decent ground type. Uh, I didn't get one myself. I would have, but I want Sandslash instead this, uh, playthrough right here. So, let's take down this Mar Okay, I thought he was going to live with, like, 1 HP, but we took him out anyways. And Roshi's going to go up to level... No. <laughs> He's not going to go up to level 33. I thought he was going to, but I guess not. So, once you beat that trainer right here, go ahead and open up this door with the card key. Again, if you don't know where to get it, um, go ahead and uh, watch my last video. So he's going to ramble on about some shit right here, and uh, I don't think I've swearing him, sworn in my episodes before, but he's going to say some stuff, and then he's going to battle us. So, Giovanni is going to have a Nidorino, a Rhyhorn, a Kangaskhan, and a Nidoqueen. Uh, pretty decent Pokemon. Uh, mm, I forget, is this the ground type right now? I don't think he is. Okay, good. It's just a poison type right now, so good thing I didn't make that mistake and I thought it was a ground type. He turns it into a ground type on his final evolution, Nido King, which is a super, super good ground type. On top of that, a super, super good uh, poison type to run in the Gen 1 games. Like, they're really OP. Nido King and Nido Queen, even, could learn, like, any move in the game, I'm pretty sure. Or a majority of the moves. A majority of the good moves. Um, if you want to run, like, Ice Beam... Uh, Blizzard, Earthquake, the, the thing's just a monster. If you have it during the Leap 4 battle, you're not going to have troubles at all. I know de in uh, Gen 1 speedruns, like Red and Blue, uh, they use Nido King to speedrun, and it, it's, it's super good, I'm just saying. So, we're going to get taken down right there, sadly, but I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to bring out Chaotic next. Chaotic should be able to take him out with a a dig or even a slash I'm just gonna go for slash don't even want to waste a turn with dig but Nidorino is gonna go down and it's time for Kangaskhan he's gonna bring out I thought he was gonna bring out Rhyhorn next but Kangaskhan Kangaskhan is kind of a hard Pokemon to deal with if you don't have anything to deal with him with I don't think that came out right but we're gonna go for a brick break right, brick break right here and it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Kangaskhan does have a lot of HP and super high attack. Mostly with the stab Mega Punch, he's going to be doing a lot of damage, as you can see right there. We're equal level, but he still did a bunch of damage. He almost killed us, even. Uh, we're at yellow health now. He's going to go for a Rage. Don't know why he went for that. The AI in this game is kind of dumb. If he went for a Mega Punch, he probably could have killed me if he got a high roll. But Kangaskhan is going to go right down there and we're gonna go up to level 36 nice chaotic climbing those levels climbing the ladders almost up there with robin and rhyhorn's gonna be next so i'm gonna bring out light bulb now light bulb should be able to deal with his next two pokemon 
Rhyhorn and actually Nidoqueen, you might have to switch back into Gyarados just because that thing is a poison type. And again, a super strong poison type, so you do have to watch out for that thing. If uh, I don't remember what Giovanni runs on this Pokemon, uh, but if he has like Sludge Wave, I don't even think there's Sludge Wave in this game, but if he has Sludge Bomb or something, you're going to have a lot of trouble. And I think he has Earthquake actually thinking about it now, so we could die from that. It is super effective against Light Bulb. Um, let's go ahead and... I'm going to bring back out Roshi. I wanted to bring out Jackie Chan again. I wanted to give him another chance. But this thing's like level 41. He's just going to get bodied. So, hopefully Nidoqueen will go down. Uh, like I said before, I saved my Dragon Rages for this. I'm not going to use Water Pulse because this thing has de decent special defense. So, I think Water Pulse would have done the same amount of damage, but... Nevertheless, we still get that guaranteed 40 HP. And we're gonna get paralyzed from that body slam right there. And oh, wow! I gave this Nido Queen a little too much credit. I thought I had like Sludge Bomb or something. It has Poison Sting. Like, damn! Nice, ga <laughs> nice game freak. Why are you giving this thing Poison Sting? That's not even a good move. But hopefully, Nido Queen's gonna live one more. Don't heal up, Tail Whip. Okay, Body Slam, Tail Whip, Poison Sting. Again, I gave this thing way too much credit. But he's going to go down there with a Dragon Rage. And Giovanni has been taken down for the last time. I think we fought him before. Uh, once before, actually. So that is pretty cool. He lost again. And he's going to give us $4,100. Now, once you beat the Giovanni boss, then you can come over to this man right here and talk to him. Wow, we just walked over the leg. That's dis That's not nice. You just walked over his couch. Why are you doing that? But he'll hand you the Master ball, ball right here. And the Master Ball is pretty useful. It has 100% catch rate on it. So if you want to go ahead and catch like Mewtwo or even a any Legendary pretty much, you're not going to have troubles at all because it you just need one throw and it's done. The Pokemon's caught. So Master Ball right there. Pretty cool looking ball. It has an M at the front. But anyways, that's going to pre be pretty much it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and tell me what you liked and also what you didn't like in the comment section down below. Then I can, I can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment.